today I'll show you how I took this fireplace from this to this using this peel and stick tile. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Sharita and the name of my channel is Unique by Sharita. This portion of the video is being sponsored by Home Kamami. So I went on their website and selected this beautiful gray herringbone marble peel and stick backsplash towel and I'll be using it on the fireplace. You just clean the surface, position the peel and stick towel where you want it to be, and then you cut it with scissors, peel the label off the back, and you stick it onto the surface. It's just that simple. So the instruction says to use scissors to cut to size, but because I'm always looking for shortcuts, I decided to use a paper trimmer that I already had. I knew that I needed a straight cut to start, so I just used the paper trimmer to score and cut the very top of the peel and stick tile. I just used the scissors to trim off any excess from my scoring and then I peel the back off and stick it directly onto the surface. And I'll continue doing this until the fireplace is complete. While applying the towel to this particular area, I noticed a small gap or space on the surface and that's perfectly fine. I'm just going to use some caulk to fill that space in and it'll never be noticed. Once you get that first row, it's pretty much smooth sailing after that. As you can see, I'm just moving right along with peeling and sticking the towel onto the surface. just going to use my level and a Zacto knife to trim off any excess towel from the overhang. It was really simple and I'm very happy with the way this look turned out. So I went ahead and used picture molding to trim out the fireplace because my towel had wavy lines and I needed straight lines. So my husband cut the picture molding and I glued it directly onto the towel and used tape to hold it in place until it dried. The picture molding was very helpful. It acted as a base to trim out any of the excess peel and stick towel. So that's what you see me doing, just using my X-Acto knife and cutting out all of the excess peel and stick towel for a finished look. Under normal circumstances, you wouldn't have to use caulk, but because my outline was wavy, I needed to trim it. So with trim, you need to caulk. So I just put a bead of caulk all the way around and in my joints, and it turned out really, really pretty. Even though I'm caulking it, this is definitely something you can use in an apartment or your home. Thank you. 
All right, so let's go ahead and decorate the space. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. As I mentioned, this is definitely um, some towel that you can use in an apartment or your home. Home Kamami has 3D wall decor. Yes, that means that brick look. They have wall decals and murals and several styles of the peel and stick towel just like what I have. So I'll leave the link in the description for anyone that's interested. I just added a silver metal tray with some greenery and then I'll put two silver ginger jars on the fireplace, one on each side. And then I'm going to add two jumping jacks that I spray painted black. I got all of these items from Home Goods. Want to just add an artificial plant to the side of the fireplace along with two beautiful lanterns that I got from Home Goods. I just added a string of lights to the inside of them. Let's go ahead and decorate the coffee table. So I'm just going to add this beautiful ginger jar that I got from Home Goods, as well as this silver mirror tray. And then coffee table books, they do add some style to your table. And of course, you always want to put something on top of your coffee table book. I added these chains and then over on the tray, I'm adding these two beautiful candle holders. And of course, my Thompson Fairy A candle. And then I'll just add a little greenery to that tray and that's it. That's all we need to complete this look on the coffee table. What time is it? It's pillow time. Yes, pillows and throws will complete a look to any room. So here you see, I'm just going to add about five pillows and a throw. And because this is a really deep sofa, I can add more pillows than usual. All right, everyone, we are coming to the end of this video. I really do appreciate each and every one of you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed and you like these types of videos, please hit that subscribe button. Turn your notification on so you'll be notified when I post videos. Thanks again for watching. Please enjoy the end of the video. Have a great day.